Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on our 2008 Ram 1500 4.7. We'll be replacing our AC system and basically our dryer bottle, our compressor, condenser, and the lines going to them. So basically about every six months the Freon leaks out of this truck and it starts blowing somewhat warm again. So to start off, we're going to disconnect our battery. From there, once that's disconnected, we will take off our air box to kind of get into getting started on here. We just got to get everything sorted out, out of the way first. All right, so we have our battery disconnected. So with the air box, there was a 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then, as you can see, this little ball right here, it kind of pops up. Once you take this 10 millimeter bolt out and slides out, before you pop this box off here that says 4.7, you have to undo the clamp right here. Just pick this box up and it pops out of place, as you can see, and there's two more on the bottom. You can just lift it up and slide it out, separated from our box over here. And you will have to unplug this plug here as well and take the tube off the intake box. For the time being, while everything is taken apart, we went ahead and we threw a glove over our throttle body as well as our breather tube into the valve cover. That way nothing can get in there while it's apart. So we do have all new lines for our AC system as well as our new dryer bottle AC compressor and all the o-rings and gaskets for it so pretty much we can go ahead and start taking the AC system apart being there's no freon in it right now all right from here we disconnected the 13 millimeter nuts on the AC lines on the front of our condenser and the back right here from there we have two 10 millimeter bolts right above this AC line here is one and then over here in the corner by the fuse box is the other. So you disconnect those then we have our AC lines off. So from there the only thing we have left is the electric fan plug for our AC. So for this on these later models you know this one's a 2008 you have to go from underneath with a flathead screwdriver and kind of slide in there to pry this tab down. Not enough to break it, just enough to slide it off and you can get it out. Because it's kind of squeezed in there where you can't really get your fingers. So a flathead screwdriver would be the answer for that one. From there, we pretty much just have to lift our condenser out, take this fan off, put our new condenser in and our job is pretty much done over here with the condenser. All right, so from there, we ended up taking the one 10 millimeter bolt out of here as well on the radiator and the four 13 millimeters on this top upper crossbar that the hood latch mounts to. That way we can slide our AC condenser out. As you can see, somebody's trimmed this off before this will catch on your crossbar so you can't really pull it out and from there you either have to take the 10 millimeter bolts out two on either side four in total and you know finagle it or you can just take the crossbar out and then boom you have access to your condenser you can pull it out swap the shroud over to your new condenser and throw it back in all right, so we got our new condenser. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. So the angled port, if you look, that one's 90 degrees, basically. This angled port goes to the back side of it towards the engine compartment. The straight on side goes towards the front. So from there, we are going to take the four 10 millimeter bolts out of our shroud that holds this electric fan and move it over to our new condenser nice and easy all right so we got our shroud moved over but we have to remove the barbs from our old condenser and as you can see this is a e7 to fit on there and unbolt these 
So there's one on each port that we have to remove and switch over. So we just got our studs swapped over to the new condenser. So we're ready to put it back in now. So we figured out why our Freon was leaking out. And it's a pretty good indicator we have these black O-rings on here instead of green ones. So that could possibly be part of our issue. But we're still going to go ahead and replace our AC system in here since we already have everything to do it. You know, that's a kind of bad sign somebody's been in here before trying to accomplish something. So that's a no-no. We got our new condenser in here. So next we will replace this Freon line as it goes back. And to do so, there's a little clip that retains it back here. If you can see this one that I've already taken the little retaining clip off of, much like this one right here. To remove that line, we have this half inch tube spring lock coupler tool. And basically you just open it up clip it over the fitting and you want the larger side here if you see that side's larger you this one's smaller so you want the larger side to the back and you just pop it on and slide it out and the line will come right off it's pretty easy all right to remove this ac freon refrigerant line you have to remove this air box bracket which is there's two 13 millimeter bolts up top and there's two more on the bottom as well as I believe three or four eight millimeters under the splash shield. So to remove that, you have to come through here in the fitter well and there is a bolt right here, 13 millimeter as well as right over here. And then if you flip the fender liner back in, you'll see there's a few more eight millimeter holes right down here that screws into the bottom of it. So we ended up dropping our wheel liner out just to get to that. And we are all done as far as that line. For our dryer bottle back here, there is two 10 millimeter bolts on the side. And then we switched up to a five eighths coupler tool for this airline fitting here and the other one back behind it both on the dryer bottle as you can see here on our old one the two 10 millimeter bolts and our coupler just kind of fits over it like so you push it in and the line pops out so we got the front end all buttoned up now we just have to do our compressor from here we will undo the two 13 millimeter nuts and keep in mind, our system is already evacuated. It leaked out. After we disconnect these two, we also had these two plugs up here for our pressure sensor and just the power for the AC. So you unplug those two, we pulled them back. From there, you have two 15 millimeter bolts, as well as this weird little bracket right here. So we'll probably loosen this bolt down here enough to swing the bracket out and get our AC compressor out as well as this 13 millimeter back here. And we just used a little ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket on our pulley here to compress it enough to pull the belt off. So we got our belt just laying right here. We just had to flip it back up when we are done. And that kind of makes it easy. And just like that, we got our new compressor in here. It was pre-oiled when we purchased it. So now we just have to put our air box back on, pull a vacuum on our AC system, and recharge it. And that's really all there is to it. All right, so we got the truck all buttoned up. We put about 24 ounces of Freon back in it, and now we're letting it run just to check and see how cool it's gotten. We got a little thermometer and one of the vents. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're at about 50, 51 degrees, maybe 52 at most. And we've been running this for probably two minutes. So as you can see, it's still coming down quite a bit. 
but either way our AC is plenty cold and this should do the job so that's all for today's video be sure to like subscribe and follow along if y'all want to see more videos like this we try to cover a wide variety of different cars and you'll see that in the coming months